Scorpio. In the past, we have the High Priestess, the Page of Wands reversed, and the Six of Wands reversed. The High Priestess is very intuitive, and the cross on her chest is standing out to me, whether this be in a religious context or just a symbolism of her faith. The Page of Wands reversed. The pages are our cards of communication, and wands are passion. I feel like you struggle to express the things you're passionate about, or you lack confidence. The Six of Wands Reverse talks about not having a victory. I feel like it's a fear of being successful. The High Priestess is clarified by the Two of Cups Reversed, the Eight of Cups Reversed, and the Queen of Swords Reversed. I feel like these cards are talking about the self, you. The Two of Cups Reversed can be emotional blockages, not being able to receive an unhealed trauma. The Eight of Cups Reversed in this case is around feeling stuck in your current reality and fears that block your momentum. On the Queen of Swords reverse card, I'm drawn to the red cup or plate behind bars. This card, sorry, this could be a reference to a blockage in your root chakra, just on a side note, but I do think it's a blockage in your communication. The Page of Wands reversed is clarified by the Four of Cups, the World reversed, and the Ten of Wands reversed. I feel like with this Four of Cups, you are disappointed in yourself. One side of the card is reality, and the other, rainbows and magic. And with the world card in reverse, I feel like you aren't wholly living your purpose. You know you came here to do so much more. With the Ten of Wands in reverse, you are really ready to put this burden down. The Six of Wands clarified by the Five of Cups reversed, the Ace of Swords and the Magician reversed. On this Five of Cups card, the energy from the female looks like it's going down the drain. I feel like with the Ace of Swords, you have received clarity and with the Magician, in reverse, you are aware you're not utilising your gifts and talents to their full potential. So it's time to call back your power, put the energy back into yourself. In the present, we have the Devil, the Nine of Pentacles reversed and the Hermit reversed. I feel with these cards, the Devil represents toxic thoughts and self-limiting beliefs holding you back. With the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, you aren't feeling in your power. However, with the Hermit in reverse, I feel like you maybe tell yourself you need to go deeper within and do more soul searching but that is one of those self-limiting beliefs. The Hermit in Reverse is coming out of isolation. He's coming out of a dark night of the soul. The Devil clarified by Justice, Two of Wands and Two of Pentacles. With Justice here, it's time to balance the scales within. You have two number two cards here as well. The number two is about balance in general. The Two of Wands is planning and needing to leave a comfort zone and the Two of Pentacles is like should I or shouldn't I? It's time to silent the mind of old limiting beliefs, give yourself justice and move to your next chapter of growth, which means leaving your comfort zone. The Nine of Pentacles reversed, clarified by the Page of Wands, the Six of Cups and the Queen of Cups. I feel with these cards, it's time to really connect to who you are with the Page of Wands. Get passionate again and explore things you're passionate in. The Six of Cups is highlighting to me the passage of time. We aren't getting any younger. If not now, when? And with the Queen of Cups, all you need to do is follow your intuition. The Hermit Reversed is clarified by the Chariot, the Fool and the Empress. The star in the Hermit's Lantern just stood out to me. It's time to follow your North Star, your dreams, and move forward with this Chariot. Take a leap of faith with the Fool card and embrace all the growth and abundance from doing this with the Empress card. In the future, we've got the Queen of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Pentacles. The Queen of Wands knows who she is knows her worth and expects nothing less. The Wheel of Fortune is good luck and good karma and in the upright this card means the wheel is turning in your favour. The placement of the Four Pentacles is what's standing out to me. The Crown Chakra and the Heart for intuition and the two on the ground to remind you to stay grounded. The Queen of Wands is clarified by the Queen of Wands, the Five of Wands reversed and the Two of Swords. I feel like with the two Queen of Wands cards here, the sooner you recognise who you are, you will be able to let go of so much of your inner conflict with this Five of Wands in reverse. The Two Swords has two ravens guiding this girl, but she likes to pretend she can't remove the blindfold so she can't trust their guidance. It's time to stop holding yourself back. The Wheel of Fortune clarified by the Temperance reversed, the Six of Swords and the Tower reversed. I feel with the wheel here, it is time. I feel like you may have been waiting for outside factors to push you into this next chapter, but I feel like these cards are saying if you want to be the best version of you, you need to take the first steps. Temperance reversed is about finding your balance. The Six of Swords, trust you are being guided to calmer waters 
and the tower of earth, nothing ends from making these changes, it's growth. The four of pentacles is clarified by the four of wands reversed, the three of wands and the ace of pentacles. The intended meaning for the four of wands had me wondering, so I referred to the book and the line that stood out was, when was the last time you danced? The three of wands is about taking actions towards this ace of pentacles, a new beginning or opportunity. Scorpio, overall, I think your takeaway message is stop doubting yourself. Deep down, you know who you are and your purpose and it's time to step into it.